Hey folks, Gihondo here, and welcome back to RimWorld. This is episode 13. As a quick recap, in the last episode, we finally had all our visitors leave, which means we get our prison back, which is very nice. And we started working on a dedicated crafting room, which apparently I forgot to drag the power to, but we can fix that super, super fast. Uh, let's just basically have it be along the wall. I think that'll be fine. Perfect. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, I was trying to remember what research I wanted next. What I wanted was shelves, and I don't know what I was doing, because I already have them. In fact, it appears I've had them for quite some time. They're right here, in the complex furniture. So, I have no idea what, <laughs> what was going on in the old brain, but it wasn't good. Anyway. What we are going to research next, though, is the microelectronics, because we need to get into better stuff. Right, and with that, I think we are... No, we are not ready to go. What is happening here? Why are you using the super good stuff? What is so wrong with him? He just got that. I mean, yes, technically, it's ahead of his immunity, but it's at 4%. And this one, his immunity is ahead, so why? This is not life-threatening. This is not even close to life-threatening. Okay. We're going to, in fact, you know what? For now, we're gonna say never use it. Thank you. I wonder how many, how many did I have? Did I only have three? Or did they, we already use someone I didn't notice? I don't know. It's annoying either way. Ah, but anyway, so we'll get that hauled back. That's fine. At some point, I guess I need an actual proper hospital as well, but we'll get to that. Hey, free money. Nothing wrong with that. I am good with that. So we got our pen repaired, and the animals are starting to be put back in. So that's very good. In fact, I think they're pretty much all in now, it looks like. Excellent. And Kira is bored. Why is Kira bored? Because Scotty's doing the research. And we must not need any more fish at the moment. Yep, nope, we got lots. Okay, yeah, I guess she is bored. Uh, is there something Scotty could be doing instead to free up Kira for research? What does Scotty do otherwise? Tailoring, smithing, crafting? Um, like repairing, for example? These definitely, here's a one, I'm sure there's plenty, but here, right here. These need repairing. Why are you not repairing? Cannot repair missing materials. Oh, I don't have stuff. It says it just requires apparel. Is there something hidden here it's not telling me about? Okay. Because <laughs> it's certainly within, you know, within radius. It's only like three squares away. What is happening here? Okay. Well, I guess I will have to figure that out at some point. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, oh, the other thing was Slab's shirt completely broke on him, so we needed to make, which was the whole point of making this craft here, we need to make him a new shirt. So let's go ahead and at least get that queued up. Uh, do you want a t-shirt or a button-down shirt? You look to me like a button-down kind of guy. Uh, that is just going to be cloth, though we're not, I don't think we even have any of this good stuff, but you're certainly not wasting it on this. Uh, leather is probably not a great thing for a shirt either, so why don't we make it out of wool or cloth or something, and that would be great. And, in fact, let's make sure we always have... Uh, not counting the equipped one or the tainted ones, let's make sure we always have one spare shirt at all times. We should probably do the same for pants. But again, I don't want to waste the good stuff. Um, I guess I was about to make a joke about leather pants being our size, but that's a pinky in the brain reference that hopefully goes all over your head because it's a little naughty. <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, so again, do until we have, only allowed, sure. Uh, do not count those, so we have a spare. Perfect. Actually, and I should make sure it's at least in decent quality for it to count, right? That would be helpful. Otherwise, it's going to count those garbage broken ones that are absolutely no good. There we go. Uh, what else could we want? I mean, we're going to need coats for winter, although we don't need them yet. But I suppose it's harmless to at least have them queued up, so fine, sure, let's have a parka available. Again, all the same normal stuff. Uh, leather's fine, wool would be better, but let's make sure we have a spare. Okay. Uh, is there anything else we could probably use? I mean, I suppose I could make like hats or dusters and that. I'm not overly worried about it. Oh, right. Um, Dips wanted specifically something. Uh, what was it? Cape and a veil. Yes, let's do that as well. Veil and a cape. Okay, there we go. In fact, I'll probably put them up at the top so they actually get done right away. Uh, again, these can be really, really cheap for now because I'm not, to be honest, overly worried about it. We have one, only allowed, yep. Should I count his equipped one? Probably, but I'm not going to worry about it too much for now. Put that at the top and do the same for the cape. Perfect. Boink, boink. That could be leather, I don't mind. That's fine. That's all good. And yeah, perfect. Again, we'll plug that up so it gets done sooner. I mean, we have to wait for them to build all the power lines first, of course, before any of that happens, but let's at least get that started. Of course, the other thing we're going to want is storage in here. probably can just copy the storage settings out of here, right? Because I think, well, no, it's already not great. We should not include this stuff as it is, let alone over there. Ah, good times. <laughs> All right, that setting is probably fine, though. Which means this stuff can now be this one can go to a lower. This is basically just going to be overflow priority, or excuse me, an overflow stockpile. This will be the actual storage. I'll call it crafting storage in case I ever split it out, which may or may not happen. Don't know yet. Uh, what else does this room need? It's going to need temperature control which is in temperature where it belongs. Uh, okay, we will... Yeah, I know, we talked about that. We decided we weren't doing it. Try and keep up with the tour here, please. <laughs> anyway, it uh, doesn't really matter where this goes. I guess it can go right there. And a heater, which can go... You know what? Right, right there. Actually, I might put a bench there. That's probably a bad spot for that. Let's put that somewhere out of the way a little bit. There we go. Because I'll probably end up putting some kind of bench here and then the chair would go there. So, all right, that'll work. Yes, I'm sure. Thank you. I know. You're good, buddy. You're good. That oh, should speed things up too. There we go. Perfect. All right, got all that sorted. So I think things are pretty much back to where they belong. How is the food situation? You're fine, you're fine, you're all fine. Okay, food is good. Research is happening. It's a very slow research, but it's happening, so that's fine. So now I guess we're just waiting on stuff to get built or for the storyteller to do something actually frightening instead of just kind of letting us hang out. <laughs> oh, 
okay, I guess they finally made it to wherever they were going. I thought they already finished that, but fair enough. Okay, well, whatever. You do you. <laughs> Air generator was busted. Or are you just working on the cable? No, something was busted there. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. We appear to be out of components again, though. We do have some queued. Quite a few queued. Just nobody's getting to it. Boredom. Uh, right, because we don't have much in the way of recreation. Fair point. Because I think we have a horseshoe pin somewhere. I don't actually remember where I put it. But yeah, out there. So that's all we've got. So you are absolutely right. Let's give you something else. How about archery and shooting targets, that sort of thing? Because mm, it doesn't make a huge difference which one we do. Let's do with the archery target. Let's do that out of wood. We should probably have them do that outside so they're not shooting at, you know, anything important like inside. There, I'll give you something else to do. And maybe a martial arts target as well so they can beat on that and get melee skill. Uh, that, will that fit in there? Eh, kinda. Oh, we'll plunk it there. Then it can look like this little rock formation is being used deliberately. <laughs> Even though it's not. Alright. So they're sleeping. Let's speed things up. going to be for your flu, right? And then treat yourself as well. No? You don't want to treat yourself? Okay. Well then, I guess uh, Kira can treat you. That'll be fine. Okay. There we go. Perfect. <clears throat> Excuse me. How are you doing on your infection? Oh, you're totally fine. You're about to want attention, but you are totally, totally fine. We're not out of medicine. We're not even close to out of medicine. Why was that not an option to use medicine? Bizarre. Thank you. Ah, uh, just room world things, I guess. <laughs> How did you botch a power cable? Okay, who is working on construction that's terrible at it? It's either dips or slab, and neither of them should be bad at this. You know, construction 5 is not great. Yeah, no, it's not you. It must be you. Is your manipulation... Oh, your manipulation is still terrible from all your injuries. Fair enough. Okay. Well, when it's just power cables, I don't really care. If it was something important, like a geothermal or something, then I would care, but... Messing up a power cable, not really a big deal. Oh, our clothes are getting done. Very good. Very, very good. Very, very slow. Oh, I should put lights in. That would help. Yes, thank you for reminding me. Because I'm sure that was you screaming at your monitor, and not me just remembering randomly. <laughs> Plunk one there. And then maybe we should have some over here, over here, and here, which means we will need more power cables. And I guess we'll just run the whole building. Or most of it, anyway. That's probably more than we need. This little bit here is fine. I'm trying to conserve steel a little bit, although we're pretty sure you know, we have a decent amount. Not as much as I thought, but a decent amount. What we do seem to have a ton of is rocks, so maybe it's time to start working on the gigantic wall project, which we haven't talked about much. I've kind of alluded to, but I've now actually planned out so, uh, yeah, 
The difficulty here is going to be on the right hand side because of our tree. I was originally planning on making the wall here, but of course the tree will hate that, which means the wall's got to be out here. Or I have to use this side as the side left open for intruders to come in, which is, could work as well. I guess I could leave this part open, wall off across the bottom, and out here. Yeah, I don't really like it, but... I don't really like it. cannot put walls on that terrain, hmm. which means either I have to go way out here, which is way too close to the edge of the map for my comfort level, or I have to leave this part open. don't really like either of those options, to be fair. Now, let's at least do the bottom right part. This part, I think, will be fine to just have a gigantic wall. And we can reuse some of this. Yeah, no, we don't actually have this much granite yet, but that's fine. Let's at least get it queued up. It's going to be a huge project. It's going to take them quite a while to do, so. Now that I'm much less happy about. I forgot you. I still had this queued. Yeah, no, I think I want dips to do that, thanks. You find something else to do work on like power cables or something or repairs or that or the wall i don't mind if you botch the wall we have lots of stone but i don't have a lot of components for botches here in fact i think i'm now short on components because you botched that one that's not good oh okay good they have mined them out though all right excellent out of curiosity why don't you use the gates i gave you Ah, <laughs> uh, good times. Alright, so your target temperature will be 23. I am not sure leaving the pants on the heater <laughs> was the best option, but you know what? We'll go with it. We'll just go with it. I guess now we can move repair bench over here. I mean, that might as well just be here. Doesn't make a huge difference where all this stuff is. We'll just plunk it down right there. Okay. Try and get some of the stuff out of this room because eventually I do want to make this basically just a giant barracks is the plan. Like, or maybe a barracks dining table sort of thing. I want to do all the crafting down here. Not sure if I'll leave research in here or if I will put it down here. I haven't decided yet, but for right now, I think it'll be fine. What is that? What is that? Is that like graffiti? Right? <laughs> what is that? So when I zoomed out, I thought, oh, neat. I was having an actually an oxygen not included bomb. I'm thinking, oh, neat. They sticker bombed it because they're really happy. But RimWorld doesn't do that. What even is that? Weird. I have no idea. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to worry about it, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> I can speed things up while they're sleeping. Still no. What is the storyteller doing? Yeah, we haven't had anything in days. Let alone anything like relevant. Scotty and Mel. Okay. Um, fair play. Now, our ideal legend, does it want them sleeping together or not until after they're married? Oh. Uh, Spouse home. Yeah, you can't just have anybody else. I don't see anything about it mattering. Hmm. Okay. So I don't know if they actually need a double bed yet or not, but I guess there's no reason we can't build one. 
Why not, right? Would be fine. I can go right there, I guess. Sure. Mel and slab. Okay, cure is already on it. Excellent. Where's slab? You're eating. And now you're coming to rest so you can get treated. Perfect. Well, you were. <laughs> but first you decide to drop off the extras. Fair enough. And cure has got you sorted. Perfect. Okay, your infection you're totally fine with. How's the flu coming? Oh, you'll be fine. How's Mel's flu coming? Oh, you're totally, totally fine. Okay. Excellent. Alright, well, I think things have gone pretty well for today. Um, not a heck of a lot actually happened. But we got a lot of work done, so I guess that's good. Um, yeah, I'm really not sure what to do about the storyteller. Like, I just... Nothing is happening. And I don't know how to increase that. There, I mean, surely there has to be a way. I think I have... Oh, I did custom. Why did I change it to custom? What did I change? I don't even remember what I changed. See, that's a problem when you try and do things with a terrible memory. <laughs> what did I even change? 155 sounds like... No, that's 100, so it wasn't that. Was it this one? No. I'm sure I didn't go to losing as fun. Oh, that is what I changed. I must have had it here somewhere and then customized it to incre increase the threat scale. But I think just the size of threats and the difficulty of them, but that's nothing to do with how often they happen. All I'm looking for is for things to happen more often. Uh, if you have any idea how that's done, please do leave me a comment because this is really kind of annoying me because nothing is happening. And I don't know why that is. But adaptation. Okay, so that's just it automatically adjusting that. But again, that's nothing to do with frequency. All I'm looking for is frequency. Maybe I will check the Steam Workshop. Maybe there's a mod for it? I don't know. Either way, if you do know, please do let me know because this is really quite bothering me. But anyway, I guess at this point we're going to call it there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like and a comment, especially one about frequency if you know it. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It really does help. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. See you.